Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're talking about whether or not you should upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. Now there's a variety of reasons you may or may not want to upgrade, but before we get into that, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 10, Windows 11, or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with a lot of the main differences between Windows 10 and 11, Windows 11 may just seem like a reskin of Windows 10, but there is a lot more to talk about than just aesthetics. So one thing that I personally noticed when I first started using Windows 11 is that you enter your desktop when you start up without any pop-ups whatsoever. So it's more like everything is in your hands. And you don't have to try to set up different blocking features just to not get pop-ups. So I think it's more minimal and a little bit more simple to use. If you're less familiar with computers in general, then I'd say Windows 11 is definitely a better choice. And of course, you can still venture into the settings and personalize it to your preferences. Now, one of the first things you'll notice in Windows 11 is a completely new taskbar and start menu. So all of the icons by default are gonna be in the middle rather than on the left-hand side of the screen. And this includes the start button. Start menu tiles are gone. And the start menu by default is just gonna show pinned applications. If you wanna see all of your apps, there's a button for that right in that area. Again, this is kind of building on the point that it's a little more simple than the default look of Windows 10. Windows 11 will now manage background processes better than previous versions of Windows. So this is gonna help save on your computer resources such as your memory and CPU. So for example, on Windows 10, You've got things like Skype and OneDrive just running in the background by default. And on Windows 11 by default, there's fewer things running, so your computer is not going to be utilizing as many resources. If you have a computer with a small amount of RAM and CPU power, Windows 11 is almost certainly going to run better because of those fewer processes and the operating system is focused on performance. Now for another feature, you will see better gaming performance out of Windows 11. It supports things such as DirectX 12 and Direct Storage. And these are going to give you benefits such as better visuals and frame rates on supported games. Direct storage will allow you to take the load off of your CPU and directly decompress the data inside of your GPU. However, you will need NVMe SSD for this feature to work. And you have other features such as auto HDR for people using an HDR monitor and the built-in Xbox app. The next feature is using Android apps in Windows 11. This is one of the major selling points of Windows 11 when it was first announced, and you're able to use them on your desktop without even touching your phone. Now, one feature that I personally like on Windows 11 is the widget screen. So the widget screen on the bottom left-hand side is gonna help keep you informed on the weather, the news, stock trades, or whatever you want as it's fully customizable. And I think it's a practical way to keep up with what's going on. The seventh feature that we're gonna talk about is the snap layout functionality. So snap layouts can make multitasking a breeze. You simply drag a window to the top of your screen and you have several different snap layouts that'll allow you to put the screen wherever you want without having to go through and mess with the edges. Number eight, the latest desktops and laptops support Windows 11 and are usually not going to downgrade to Windows 10. So it just makes sense to be on the latest operating system in this case. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, drop those in the comment section below. In conclusion, it's really up to you and what computer you have, but these are just some things to keep in mind if you're considering the upgrade and why it might be worth it. Again, if you guys are interested in your own copy of Windows, check out those links in the description as you can save on your purchase. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.